Welcome Pisces guys. I'm back with another video. So this is going to be for the month of January. So this is going into the new year. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So I'm going to pull from, I think I'm going to pull from, let's pull from the, let's pull from the messages of love here. Let's see what's going on for Pisces in love. What message is there for the Pisces for the month of January? If you are new to the channel, welcome guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Be happy to have you here. All right, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for returning. Y'all know how we do this. All right, so I'm going to pull from here. Then we're going to pull some tarot, okay? So give me a message for Pisces, please. What's going on with Pisces in love? going on with Pisces in love so someone is wondering if you're happy without them all right and this person they could have left you before you could leave them they tried to pull that stunt um yeah but now they're wondering if you are happy without them What else, Spirit? I wish I could take back my words. And also, there's a lot of things that remind this person of you. But this person also knows that they crossed the line with you. But they also learned a spiritual lesson, okay? So we say, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. They learned a lot from you. Um... But they know that they crossed the line with you. They may have crossed the line that is like damn near. They don't even know how to even get back. They even get back, you know. What else? I will wait for a sign from you. All right. So this person is waiting for some type of sign from you. I feel like you could get this person back at the drop of a dime if you wanted to. But they're waiting on you. They're waiting on you because they know that they have crossed a boundary with you. They know that they've crossed some type of line. And they know that you being around you is intoxicating. Like this person loves being around you. But they're saying you and I were too young. So this is someone that you could have known from your childhood. And also I feel like this person's life ain't together as it seems. Okay. They life not all the way together. They ain't been they ain't been lost without you. But they know that they messed up. They messed up. They know that. They crossed the boundary. Okay, so. Alright, let's let's jump into the tarot. Because this person, they know that they messed up. Tell me more about this person. Tell me how they feel about Pisces. I feel like you can get this person back if you wanted them back. You get them back. But this person, I, they crossed some type of boundary with you. They messed up. They took things too far. Um, and the thing about it is, is, is that, hold on, give me a second. So, all right, so yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we got the nine of cups. I feel like you're this person's wish fulfillment. Yeah, we got the sun. Okay, you're this person's wish fulfillment and the star. So, this person has been praying. Confirmation. This person has been praying that you come back into their life. This would be like a wish come true. I feel like they were trying to, they had to must, they had to must up a lot of confidence to tell you some type of truth. 
but they thought that you knew something already. So let's see. We got the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Moon, the Devil, and the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Swords, Nine of Wands, the Will. Six of Swords and a Three of Swords. This person is very cautious. Very, very cautious. I feel like they were cautious. They're cautious because they have some secrets here. This person could be collabing with other, a lot of other people. There's many people involved. This person is very um, all over the place. This person gives me like um, they're here one minute and then they're gone the next minute. And it's, it's extremely toxic. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Cancer or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person. Why is the moon here? Yep, the high priestess. They have some secrets. This person did something that they thought that they could get away with. But I see like something was planned. Something was planned. They planted some type of seeds. And it blew up in their face. Um, all eyes could be on you. This person is watching you grow. This person is watching you be successful. While they've been planting all these uh, seeds, these seeds elsewhere. You've been over here growing. You may have found out the truth about a third party. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Could have found out that there were, this person had a decision, a choice that they had, possibly with someone else. And they thought that they were going to have regrets if they continued to move forward with you. So I feel like they, they told you something or something got out about their lover. Okay, they could have fell in love with someone else. The fool and the lovers. They could have fell in love with somebody else. And they put your connection on hold. This person could have felt like this connection was a casual, um, something casual. Because I see someone here asking for sex. This person could have wanted the both of you guys, both of y'all in the picture. But I don't see that happening. This person got a lot of secrets that they were trying to hide from them. They had many other projects and things that they were working on, many different endeavors that they were working on. Tell me about the high priestess. Ooh, okay, that literally jumped. Okay, the Knight of Swords in the Justice. It'll be a Libra. Tell me more about the Justice and the and uh, the Knight of Swords. It's like they they knew you was going to get justice. Like, if this secret got out, they knew that you were going to get justice. You could have 
This person could have started a fake page so they can watch you. Now we got the three of pentacles here. Yep. They were working on other part. They was working on another partnership. They had other options. They were working on something else. They could have been portraying to you like they were single, like they was just doing everything by themselves. Um, but that's not the case. The challenge is seven of cups. This person had other other things that they were working on. Yep. They was just waiting. They was planting seeds everywhere else. I'm telling you, they were planting seeds in other places. Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. They were planting seeds other places. This person is toxic. This person is careless. This person is sneaky. This person is real sneaky. Okay, very sneaky. And I feel like you found out the truth about this person. So I can find out the truth about this person. But this person was planting seeds otherwhere to try to find out which female or male that they would be, you know, would suit them best. Would suit them best. The Knight of Wands is here in the past. Yep. You were going back and forth with this person. I see a lot of back and forth in the past. Like, there was a lot of back and forth. Yep. This person was at someone else's home. Okay. There's a lot of back and forth. They be a Leo Sagittarius Aries, King of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Yep, this person was juggling. This person was juggling. They were going back and forth between you and someone else. Possibly you, someone else, and other people as well. So this is the boundary that they crossed. This is the boundary that they crossed. You, you put up a boundary, they, they crossed it. You got the Tower and the Ace of Pentacles that want to jump. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Ooh, Five of Swords. Somebody's insecure here. Maybe this person thought that you were insecure or thought that you would compete or thought that you would um, fight for them. This person feels like you talk about money a lot. Um, yeah, this person trying to make you jealous. This person thought that this was going to make you jealous for you to find out about them being with somebody else. They thought it was going to make you jealous. Wow. Yep, they, they now recognize that they took things way too far. Ten of Wands. Now this person feels burdened. Yep, they feel like they took it too far. Now they're thinking that they took things too far, but they should have knew that already. See, now they done busted up this relationship. This relationship is already crumpled. Ain't no coming back from that. They were trying to keep you from leaving, um, but it just made the situation worse. Tell me more about Ten of Wands. Yeah, the judgment. Yep. They made their final decisions. 
to go ahead and walk away. So they walked away. They think the best thing for them to do is to walk away. They think the best thing for them to do is to walk away. Now you, you, um, we got the will here, five of pentacles and the six of wands. Like this, you could feel like this person wasn't giving you any attention, the attention, attention that you deserve. So, you know, you feel like maybe y'all were like lovers and friends. I'm hearing lovers and friends. I feel like you watch this person from a distance. Um, you watch this person from a distance, but I feel like you just feel like this person didn't give you what you deserve. So their energy is in the hopes and fears. They're trying to move on. They want to come in and apologize to you, though. They want to apologize. They feel like they should apologize to you. Um, they know that they stabbed you in the back. It was, they're saying that, look, it wasn't, I didn't plan this. It wasn't supposed to go down how it went down. They also know that they took things too far. They want to apologize about it. They feel guilty. You got the five of cups. They know that when y'all were together, it was loving. Okay, it was loving. It had its ups and downs, but they feel guilty. They feel guilty. They feel guilty. Now, the three of swords is here as the outcome. This is a painful situation. This situation was not easy um, to deal with. It was painful. And the four of pentacles. This person is going to keep breaking your heart. This part, I'm telling you, spirit saying you're, you'll be happier focusing on yourself. Giving yourself self-love. Because there's going to be so much drama. Some, it's going to be so much. This person can only offer you conflict, drama, competition. That's the only thing that this person has to offer. I see you looking and watching this person from a distance. But ever since this person told you the truth, it just ended. Like, you, it's the best thing to do is just to close the chapter. Yeah, this, I'm telling you, this person is going to hold on to their third party. This person only can offer you drama. I'm telling you, they only offer, can offer you drama. The fool. <coughs> I see some, it's a lot of spying going on. It's a lot of spying going on. And this person, they are going to continue to have, to have you involved in a third party. <coughs> Excuse me. This person wants you to see what it feels like. It's like giving you what you asked for and somebody saying no or something like that. But this person loves taking risks. They love living on the edge. Yep. This person could have been your first love. This person could be your first love. But this person is going to continue to put you in a third party situation. This person is going to continue to put you in a third party situation. So it's not worth it. It is not worth it. It is not worth it. When I tell you, it's not. Yeah. Let's see this person's intentions. Persons and persons towards Pisces, please. Photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making a memory. Like I said, this person misses you. Like they looking at your pictures, your videos of you, you know, 
some videos or pictures or if you're online this person is watching you online they miss you they do miss you they feel like you're stable you provide security um you're more of a permanent type and they you know growth and you're flexible okay but i feel like they can't mirror that they don't feel like they can mirror that the snake Cupid's arrow. So the snake, I told you, the competition. Enemy. This person is putting you in a competition with the other woman. Okay? There is another person involved. There is another person involved. They put you in competition. Separation. Yep. You and this person are separated from each other. And... This is someone that you could be married to, or like I said, you've just been dealing with this person for so long. This person could be a soulmate. Y'all have a soul contract together, a soul connection. Stabbed in the back, yep. This person is going to stab you in the back. I'm telling you, their intentions is to stab you in the back. This person is all about themselves. They feel like you gave them some type of heartbreak or sorrow or pain. And this person is addicted to you. They're just trying to mask it. Okay. This person's intentions is to stab you in the back. They look at you. They watch you. Um, maybe they're watching you be successful. They feel like you betrayed them. So they put you in competition with uh, other females or other males. Oh, goodness. It's too many. I told you this person is watching you. Sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. This person is watching you. Their enemy, their, their other person could be watching you. Okay. Their other person could be watching you. Now, we got paradise. Now, this is clarifying uh, separation. So, like I said, there's someone that could have been, you've been with for a long time. But there's an ending, and it's going to bring a new beginning. There's a lot of growth and change and liberation and transformation here. Maybe you haven't been in communication with this person, but this person definitely... Um, they're, it looks like they're trying, they can't get over something. Something that was said. This person loves you, but I don't think that this person really likes you. We got the Grim Reaper, and I like you. It's like a love hate thing. It's crazy. We got passion. Okay, this person thinks about you sexually, but they want to come in and get it and they want to run off. Okay, so if you allow this person back in, this person, I feel like you can get this person back anytime you want. You can go get, you can go get this person anytime you want, but this person is going to come in, they're going to love bomb you and they're going to run. Okay, it's not going to end how you want it to end or how you feel like it should end. This person is a runner. Okay. This person is a runner. They got a fear of intimacy or they're listening to their ego. Okay. All right. So that's the message that I have for you, Pisces. I hope this message was helpful. If this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up, share with your family and your friends. All right. Ciao.